83. What is the major product that will form when R2-bromopentane is treated with potassium iodide in acetone followed by sodium cyanide in acetonitrile? So first, let's draw R2-bromopentane. So let's begin by putting the Br on the wedge. So this means that hydrogen is in the back. We can reverse it if needed. So if we count it, this is group number one. The propyl is group number two. Methyl is group number three. So one, two to three. This is going in the S direction. So what we're going to do to make it R is we're going to put hydrogen in the front and bromine in the back. So now when we count it, 1, 2 to 3, we get S, but because H is in the front, we got to reverse it, and it gives us the R isomer. So in the first step, we're going to react this with potassium iodide in acetone. So what we have is a secondary alkyl halide. We have a good nucleophile, iodide, and we have a polar aprotic solvent. These are all factors that favor an S2 reaction and we're going to get inversion of stereochemistry. So bromine was in the back, iodine is going to be in the front. Which means hydrogen is in the back. So before we had the R isomer, now we have the S isomer. Now in the next step, we're going to react this with sodium cyanide in acetonitrile. Acetonitrile is a polar aprotic solvent. Cyanide is a good nucleophile. So this is going to be another SN2 reaction, where this is going to attack from the back, expelling the leaving group, and we're going to get another inverted product. So this is going to be the end result. So what we did was basically a double SN2 reaction, a double inversion reaction, which gave us retention. We started with the R isomer, and in the first SN2 reaction, we went from R to S. In the second SN2 reaction, we went from R, I mean from S back to R. So as a summary, in the first SN2 reaction, we went from R to S, and in the second SN2 reaction, we went from S to R. So the end result is we retained the original configuration at the chiral center through a double S2 reaction. So that's an example of a double inversion reaction using two sequential S2 reactions. Now this is for those of you who want access to the extended version of many of my organic chemistry videos that you see on YouTube. So you can access my Patreon membership at patreon.com slash math science tutor or you can check the links in the description section below so let's click on this organic chemistry posts and these videos will come up so this is what you'll get if you decide to join so this is the full length video on resonance structures the free video on youtube might be like 20 minutes long this is the full version on asses and bases it's an hour and 20 minutes long functional groups iupac nomenclature Newman projections with the worksheet as well, chair confirmations. I'm working on this right now, so this is coming up soon. Stereochemistry. So the worksheet for that is completed. Here's the full video. Specific rotation, SN1, SN2, E1 reactions. This is the full video. And then there's a practice test coming up with 77 practice problems. The video for that is completed, but I haven't finished, I haven't started the worksheet yet, so that's coming up soon. And then we have alkene reactions, alkyne reactions, alcohol radical reactions, and the organic chemistry one final exam review. The video is completed, but I haven't gotten to the worksheet yet. So feel free to take a look at this when you get a chance, and let's get back to the video. Now this is for those of you who want to get access to all of my video playlists and exam review videos all in one spot.
So if you go to video-tutor.net and if you go here, click more, video playlists, you can get access to all the different video playlists that I have on my YouTube channel and also the final exam review videos as well. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance.